Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's great. You know, you remember when you used to have ice cream and you used to put that raspberry sauce on it and you used to melt your ice cream and mix it in? That looks like that, doesn't it? It looks like a raspberry ripple. It's a poinsettia raspberry ripple uh, card we're going to make. Anyway, I actually should call this Raspberry Ripple. I wonder if it's got a name. I bet it has. Well, it has now. It's the Raspberry Ripple Poinsettia, well, otherwise known to you, the pink and the white one. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Listen, don't forget, you can download these. I'm going to show you a quick uh, demonstration, give you a bit of an idea of something you can do. But don't forget, keep looking at all the other categories as well. <clears throat> you might see loads of different projects there. It'll give you an idea, but using the same designs, but doing a different project. Anyway, let's run through the kind of thing that you can print off. Now, you always get the large ones, medium, small. You can choose what you want or all together. This is the example of the large main picture of the Raspberry Ripple Christmas Poinsettia. How posh is that? And you've got all the lovely dark green leaves on here. Then you've got the next section here, which is all the leaves cut out there. So this will give you the next layer, give you a lovely 3D look. Uh, then you've got this one. Again, it's getting slightly smaller and smaller and smaller. There's an example there of the smaller version. Again, and don't forget we don't waste paper. It only takes two pages to make the, the project that we're making now. And uh, so you're not going to get loads of leftover ones on here. And there's all the step-by-steps for the next set. Now, I've actually taken... Uh, from the stepper card templates. I'm going to use one of the templates here, as you can see, to make a stepper card. I'm going to make a Christmas stepper card poinsettia, so, poinsettia, sorry, raspberry ripple poinsettia. I'm rambling. But what I did, you know, you've got the templates. Well, you just, down, you just download it, obviously, and print it. So instead of using the template, you're actually printing the template onto the back of the card that you're going to use. Isn't that fantastic? That beautiful golden red. How Christmassy is that? Now, all I'm going to do is make this stepper card, which is very, very simple. He says, looking drastic, looking quickly for his uh, embossing tool. Yes, I've got it here now. Have I got my thing there? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I need me, uh, I need me scalpel. It's me in trouble again. Right, what we're going to do here, where you see a dotted line, you crease it. Where you see a straight line, you cut it. And the best way of cutting it is with a scalpel and a metal ruler. First, I'm going to crease it. So wherever the dotted line is, you crease, crease and crease. Actually, I hope I make this right. I've not made one of these for months. So it could be fun. Keep watching this and there could be another blooper coming up. Well, I try to do a blooper in every show. Well, I don't try because it's natural, isn't it? <coughs> Just score through there. Now, I prefer to score it first and then cut. Then if it's cut, it's not going to wobble around, you see, first. So I'm, I'm going all the way through there because that's where the line is. So it scores all the way through. And I've got one more here at the end and just score there and there. So that's all ready to fold now. Hopefully I'll fold it right as well. So next I've got the long cut. So I've got my scalpel here and I've got my metal rule. I don't use a plastic one because it won't last you that long with a scalpel work at the side. And just use a nice sharp scalpel and if you can do it in one cut that would be brilliant because the more cuts you do the more chance of making it look a bit rough basically. So I've cut down there and I'm going to cut down here as well just score cut down there try and do it carefully you don't want the knife jumping off and cutting your thumb so they go that's cut you can see that how that opens and closes now put that to one side put that to one side because I don't want to get it all covered and next because I've got the line across here I can fold it over like so and I'm creating that first fold so I've got the card folded in half then I've got the other parts, which I'll fold over here. That one goes like that. So you just fold these bits in like so. I'm going to fold them all one way first, and then I'm going to fold them backwards and forwards. I'm just creating the crease first. You can see what I'm doing like so. So that's the front of my card there. So that one goes up, that one goes down. So that one goes that way, and that one goes that way. And then that goes down, so it's like that. And that one goes down, so it's like that. I'm getting there. And there you can see my card is beautifully folded, ready to make that lovely stepper card. And that's all ready now to decorate and uh, 
see how simple that is? Look at that, isn't that clever? Yes, yes. I'm not just a pretty face, you know? Looking a bit hot, aren't I? There you go, there's the card. Now you can decorate that any way you want, but I've printed off the smaller version of the pink raspberry ripple poinsettia, and I think that'd look lovely just on the front here, don't you? Nice and Christmassy. So that's going to fit onto there, and I'm putting on a, a jaunty ankle. I could put it straight on if I wanted to, and I'm going to put the next one over the top, like so. And if I want, I can just slightly alter it, just twist it round slightly. It'll actually give the effect of more flowers than they actually are. And this one, I'm going to just, again, just twist it round slightly. Don't want to cover up the green leaves, because the green leaves is what's going to make it stand out. So if I just see, come to two, and then I can see that, how oh, that's looking. That's looking a bit flash, isn't it? Hey, look at that. Now, what I can do, I can build this up more with the flowers, but I could also add a few flowers here, can't you, on the back, on the different layers. So that overlaps there, that one's overlapping there. So you see I'm building this up. Now I could decide to put a couple on the front here, if I want. Or I could put one on the top here, or I could put one there. Or I could put one on the corner there. I don't know what to do. What do you, what do you think, Lorraine? Higher, lower, <laughs> lower, higher? Enough. Enough. She's going to get such slap legs. I'm going to put one. I'm going to stick one in the middle there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to stick one on here like that. So you've got that lovely effect. So there's my Christmas, there's my Christmas card with that lovely raspberry ripple. And you just fold flat like that. And then you put that in your envelope and then you open it up. And there's your card. Isn't that stunning? Isn't that gorgeous? Easy to make, so easy to make. But obviously I'm not going to insult your creative talent. You've got your own creative juices you can get going. You've got hundreds and thousands of different downloads there. You can mix and match. You might want to get different templates using that strawberry ripple. No, raspberry ripple, isn't it? Anyway, you know what I'm like. <coughs> Somebody said, script this, script it. How can you script it? Anyway, just download what you want, print it, and make it.